I had such an awesome morning talking with author, illustrator, and mom, Marianne Richmond. We talked a lot about her book, Be Brave Little One. Take a look and see what else we talked about. Hi, Marianne. Hey, Sandra. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, which is, I can't believe it. We've known each other for so long. And I think this is the first time we're actually talking face to face, <laughs> which is so great. Yeah. When did you know that you wanted to be an artist? I mean, I always liked art as a young girl, like a lot of kids like art. Like I'm sure when you go talk to children and you say, do you like writing or drawing? You know, a lot of hands tend to go up with the art question, the coloring, the painting. And so I liked that as, as a kid, but I never felt like I was particularly good at it. I always felt like there were other kids who were better. And, and I think that's been my biggest message to the kids I speak with is it's not always about better, best, and, you know, judging the outcome so much. It's what do you find the most joy doing? And let that be your guide. You're yeah. never so uplifting to me. They're always supportive and thoughtful and kind. And one of the books that I really love, love is um, Be Brave, Little One. And in that one, you talk about what is bravery? What is it to be brave? And how can one be brave? Can you talk to us a little bit about what you're thinking these days about what being brave is? There's a page in there that says, how far will I go? What things can I be when I get to choose what brave is to me? And that's how I would answer that question, is that courage is a choice that looks different for all of us. And right now in the middle of this pandemic, people are responding in all sorts of ways. Some people are getting super productive. Some people are just climbing under the covers and hoping it goes away. Some people are exercising their creativity. Some people are singing. Some people are just really struggling and needing to breathe deep to get through and are feeling, oh, less than or Oh, I don't feel very brave. And I just want to underscore that courage is a choice fueled by the wisdom of our heart. And whatever we're feeling like is the, the bravest choice we can make is absolutely okay. I think sometimes we equate it with these big out loud performances and courage can be incredibly quiet and, in, and incredibly invisible that some choice, some quiet choice we're making that no one else knows about except us might be the bravest thing we do all the time. I love that. Brave doesn't have to be big. It could be small. It could be in a thank you. It could be in a, a pat on someone's back. It could be you did a great job. There's so many small ways to be brave. If, what advice would you give to children today who are home, home from school or doing their work with their parents you know, 24-7 in the house, not getting out so much. Do you have any advice for them on how they might think about being brave? Mm. You know, I talk a lot about in the classroom um, that I have a poster that's called Finding My Brave. Mm. The B is to believe I'm here for a reason. And the R is to recognize the voice in my heart. A is to accept that fear is part of the process. V is to bow to do our best, and E is to expect the ups and downs. And I guess that's the message I would encourage kids everywhere right now, is to get quiet and go within before we go out. And to let our feelings inform our choices right now. Oh, I think that is so beautifully said. Thank you for sharing that. It, it, I love how you've taken the word brave and broken it down into steps, and I think each one of those is so valuable and so meaningful. And Really yeah. amazing. Thank you so much for spending some time with us and for sharing your wisdom and your books. And um, we're going to be sh showing your um, video of you reading your book. So I'm very, very excited to share that as well. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate this conversation this morning. I'm so excited for you to hear Marianne read her book, Be Brave, Little Woman. When I look at you, shining bright as the sun, I wish for you this. Be brave, little one. 
Be brave to begin to listen inside to the voice of your heart so truthful and wise. How far will I go? What things can I be when I get to choose what brave means to me? Be brave to step up and try something new. Be brave to step out when it isn't for you. Be brave to stand up and tell what you know. Be brave to sit down and say hello. Be brave to explore in the daring unknown. Be brave to return to the cozy of home. Be brave to be scared, to stop and to cry. Be brave to mess up before you retry. Be brave to believe in what you can't see with the ups and the downs all meant to be. Be brave to keep going when going is tough. Be brave to be still when you have enough. Be brave to be with your feelings, each one, the happy, the sad, the silly, the glum. Be brave to be quiet. Be brave to be loud. Be brave to achieve and be fully proud. Be brave to be you on your journey begun. Let your heart lead the way. Be brave, little one. Bye-bye and big hugs, Ladybug. <laughs>